All right, so in this question, your bin of marbles contains, we've got three red marbles, three blue, and two green. You're gonna reach in and grab two marbles. It wants to know what's the chance of them both being blue. We could draw a tree for that, but it would be a large tree. It'd take up you know, most of the paper. So what we'd rather do is come up with two probabilities that we can multiply to get the answer. Because what we're finding is an and. The probability of the first being blue and the second choice being blue is what we're looking for. Formula for and says you'll do the probability of the first thing occurring and then you would multiply by the probability of the second event here but that has to be given that the first event has happened. That is the AND formula. It's often generalized to probability of A and B equals the probability of A times the probability of B given A. That is the formula I'm using. So we need to multiply. What's the probability of the first choice B in blue? Well, we've got three possible successes out of eight, so our fraction for the first one would be three out of eight. But then once you once you do remove a blue, this is before and this is after removing that first blue. So if you remove it you don't have three blues left anymore you only have two left. Not only that, but the, the overall number of marbles that's remaining is not eight anymore. It's gonna be reduced by one because one was removed, and there'll only be two that are blue. So if we just multiply that, multiply straight across the tops and bottoms, you get six on top and 56 on the bottom. That can reduce to three over 28. That's going to be the probability of them both being blue. Next question says, in this same bag, find the probability of at least one of the marbles not being blue. So the probability of both of them being blue and at least one not being blue these are complements of each other. Meaning, it's either going to be that both the marbles are blue, or you have some other color in your hand besides blue. So because they're complements, that means that the probability of both of them being blue, plus the probability of at least one not be in blue. Those two probabilities would have to add to one. So we can find our answer for this next one by saying the probability of at least one not blue is going to be one minus the probability that they're both blue. So with this one there are there's no easy multiplication that you can do, but instead you use your result from above and you just plug it in. Which makes 25 out of 28. All right, we, we wanna now find what's the probability of neither marble being blue. All right, so just as a hypothetical example, if we want neither of the marbles being blue, then it's possible a person could reach in and grab, say, a green 
on the first pick. And so their chance of getting not blue is what we need first. And we will then multiply that by the probability that the second is not blue, given that the first is also not blue. All right, so the first one not being blue, I count five successes for that. One, two, three, four, five successes. So it's going to be five out of eight for the first not being blue. Then, assuming that we do remove one of those marbles that's not blue, that leaves us with four remaining marbles that are still not blue. But we did take one marble out of the bin, so our denominator would be a seven. And so if we multiply this, we will get 20 over 56, which reduces to five over 14.